Hey guys, welcome back to another Jungle June. I know I'm a little late on this video uploading today because one, my grandma came to visit and two, um, that kind of really uh, messed up everything. String Sessions is now on Facebook, so just go down in my description if you want to follow my social medias. Without further ado, let us get into the story. Uh, shout out to Johnny Q, he's been commenting on my videos, so thank you enough. Um, yeah, <laughs> without further ado, let's get into the video. And today we have a very special one because I have been drinking these. And this is the lemon lime flavor. So let's get into it. So I have two bows in my hair for this episode, and as you can see, there you go. Uh, yeah, I guess this is about sophomore year, and I'm, I've warned in the previous episode that um, it, this has some topics because um, sophomore year was a very, very hard one for me because I was 15, it was a really hard time, and um, not the best, but sophomore year is not at all the goodest of years for me. So, so I think I'm just going to go down to the end of the year because that's where the bullying kind of happened. Probably around April, May-ish, because May over here we get out of school, so. Why not uh, request on Thy Simple? Um, uh, yeah, so I, I guess it's like really like, and I guess sophomore year, um, it was kind of good in the beginning and halfway towards the middle, but I guess in the mid endish we got some bullying. I always hung around a boy, and he shared the same name as my younger brother, who I'm going to be keeping out because he's a minor. So, in retrospect of this, um, he was somewhat, I have to blame my old school for what they've done. They had completely destroyed him. So, you know, he didn't get enough counseling, and I guess, according to studies, a student should be getting counseling about two to three times a week in schools and apparently the school sometimes if he had a bad day they wouldn't let him go down to the guidance counselor and they would say hey we'll call you down but they would shoo him away like he was some fly and my friend wasn't and lo and behold um there was some stuff he was saying like i'm gonna i'm gonna hurt myself i'm gonna do this I just want to say is suicide is not the very much don't take it lightly take it seriously and i mean for the sake of my best friend june has been the most horrible month ever since His dad owns a pizza place, but I guess towards the, um, after school ended, um, things kind of got out of hand. Dad passed away. I knew how dad passed away, but I won't be sharing it. And then his, about, between the end of May and early June. And school had been let out. It's summer break now, and um, you know, it happens. My friend ends up doing it. You know, we get the call, and I actually get the call from my friend's mom using her using his cell phone, and. I have to say, um, 
me and this particular boy had a really good friendship and we still do but since his passing i'm not gonna let it go he's building me up and i won't let that ever forget i get a call from his mom whose name i'm going to be keeping out she tells me he has killed himself and i said no no you know i was shocked i didn't believe it and I, I don't know falling to my knees in the most slow and shocking way to tear up as june 15th has become the bothersome he was my best friend probably the first best friend i've ever had but to the school for failing to do their job. Not only they, ha I have been bullied, but you stood there and did nothing as now teenage suicide has gone up. For the sake of my best friend, I just want people to know is that you have a voice and you can be heard. But unlike the school, they took away his voice. And no wonder that I transferred out. I moved over here and finished school. But you know what? I lost my best friend, but I keep in contact with his mom. Since then, I went to the funeral. I watched him get buried. I won't ever forget his memory. to the school you failed every single step you fucking failed him and i won't forget that when someone has a bad day you should have known better and someone maybe could have helped him else helped him out but with finals and everything, even my friend got suspended. My other friend, who's also a friend of my brother's, got suspended for saying a very bad word on Twitter as the school suspended him. And that, not only that, it really affected him with college. Because him and my brother wrestled, and that really isn't okay. I don't think schools should be involved in social media. I, I can't believe, I mean, I talked to my friend's sister just to see if she's doing okay, you know. So much has happened. I even talked to my other friend's mom to see what was going on. Why? Why does the school have to suspend people for the stupidest reasons? I hate it, is how 2015 ruined my fucking life. And ever since June, after June of 2015, 2000, in, on June 15th, after June 15th, I even spiraled into a man harping depression. And that wasn't pretty. I hope you're proud of yourself, school. To the school district, you fucking failed. You did. And to be honest, don't ever push away people or shoo them. But uh, to my friend's mom, I'm always here. And feel free to call me anytime if you need to. All I'm saying is help people and don't turn them away. Because health, safety, and lives all matter. No matter what you are, you need to help that person. If you can't help somebody, don't be a teacher. Don't be a counselor. Or better yet, 
Don't work on his school at all. I lost my best friend because of you. And I couldn't believe what I saw. <sighs> Goodbye to the school district. Thank you. I hope you're proud you made me lose my best friend. Thank you so much for tuning in for this. Please just know suicide is a very serious topic and I want people to learn to learn to get help, not just through therapy, but through hotlines. You aren't alone. I have tried to attempt on doing it. Please, please know. And as from my friend, or should I say my friend's mom, don't end your sentence with a period. End it with an apostrophe. I mean, end it with a semicolon. Because your life is worth so much more. And you have more to do. Don't throw your life away.